Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the new updates that are coming to Google Classroom. During the Learning with Google Global Livestream event, the people at Google for Education announced several new exciting updates that are coming to Google Classroom. Perhaps one of the most exciting announcements is that teachers and administrators will now have the ability to integrate third-party ed tech add-ons into Google Classroom. So things like Nearpod, Kahoot, Adobe Spark, and so many more. And administrators will also have the ability to push out certain add-ons to specific teachers so that they can individualize each experience for the teachers and the students. Teachers will also have the ability to see more relevant stats about the students to see which ones are interacting with classrooms. So things like which students are submitting an assignment, which ones have commented on a particular post. They're also working on an update that will allow the classroom app to work offline or with intermittent connections. And they're making it easier for students to attach and submit photos in Google Classroom with the app and for teachers to be able to review that. So students will be able to combine pictures into one document and then they'll be able to edit those so they can crop them, rotate them, and adjust the lighting. Teachers will be able to customize the classroom assignments and posts using rich text formatting. So that means they'll be able to use things like bold, italics, they'll be able to underline, and they'll be able to add bullets. They're also going to make originality reports available in 15 different languages. Coming later this year will be the ability for teachers and administrators to populate Google Classroom rosters before the students even arrive. And teachers who are using Skyward, Infinite Campus, or Aspen will be able to push their grades directly from Google Classroom right into those programs so that teachers don't have to enter grades twice. As I mentioned in my Google Meet update video, it's really incredible how much Google has listened to educators all around the world to incorporate these updates that will really improve the teacher and student experience. To see some of the updates that Google has made for Google Meets, please check out the link which is available in the description below. And if you know of any teachers that might be as excited about these Google Classroom updates as I am, please feel free to share this video with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.